Hey everyone, Kieran King here. So, convertible loan notes, what are they? Firstly, they are not a loan to buy a convertible. No, instead they are a mechanism that investors use to invest in a company. As you may know, there are two basic methods um, or ways to invest, and this is through equity, where you own a percentage of the business you are investing in, um, and through debt, where you don't own a percentage of the company, but the company owes you back what you lent it at a later stage. Equity is generally more risky, however, has the potential for limitless rewards if the company does really well. Debt is generally less risky, but has a fixed reward in that you know what the company is supposed to, uh, to, to pay you back over a given period of time. A convertible loan note is essentially a mixture of debt and equity. It is essentially debt which can convert to equity at a later period of time. So why would an investor want to do this? Well, maybe the business seeking funding has the potential to be successful. However, it is still very young, not making much revenue, and therefore there is not enough evidence to support a valuation or price point for an investor to invest that. Maybe also the business needs the money to grow now and cannot wait for the research and analysis into evaluation uh, to happen. Another reason may be that the investor thinks it's quite risky and therefore wants to de-risk the investment by using debt first with an option to convert into the equity later if it all goes well. There are many more reasons for using convertible loans, but these are the main ones. Now, if this all isn't making any sense to you, please go check out my video on pre and post money valuation which goes into a little more detail on price points and valuation. Anyways, let's look at an example. It is 2021 and Bruce, here's Bruce here, has his startup business, which he owns 100% of the shares in. Let's say for argument's sake, there are 1 million shares in, in the business, in issue. And Bruce owns all of those. He wants to raise capital. He's growing fast. However, he doesn't have time to work out what he values his business at. And plus he needs the money quickly to expand before his competitors do. Let's say he's looking for a hundred thousand pounds. An investor comes in, we'll call him investor one and says, look, I will invest a hundred thousand pounds via a convertible loan note. that has an 8% interest rate and converts at a 20% discount to the next funding round. Okay, we're gonna go into what that means in a sec. But let's say Bruce agrees, takes the cash and does his thing. A year later, it's 2022 and Bruce's business is growing strong. It's, it's a bit bigger now. Bruce, however, looks to raise further money now from new investors. Let's say he wants to raise an additional £500,000 this time. As a more established business, he is able to pinpoint and work out a valuation for his business and sets his valuation at £2 million. Okay, so his valuation for his business is £2 million. There are still 1 million shares in issue, as before. No shares has been issued yet. And this makes the share price of the business £2 per share. Okay, so which is £2 million valuation divided by a million shares in issue, £2 a share. Easy. He is successful in attracting another investor. Let's call this Investor2, who invests 500000 at £2 a share which gives this new investor 250,000 shares. Right, at this point, which is a funding round, technically, the loan note from the previous investor is triggered and converts into equity. So let's look at how this happens. This original 100,000 pound investment, remember, incurs 8% interest a year. And so a year later in 2022, that 100,000 is now 108,000 pounds of debt. This then converts into equity at a 20% discount to the valuation or share price. And 20% of two pound a share is 
one pound sixty a share. Okay, so now he's paying only paying one pound sixty a share instead of two pound a share, which gives which gives investor one sixty seven thousand five hundred shares. Bruce still has his original one million shares. Remember, however, new shares have now been issued. So one million. Plus two hundred and fifty thousand plus sixty seven thousand five hundred makes the total number of shares one million sixty seven thousand five hundred. And in percentage terms, that's seventy six percent to Bruce, nineteen percent to investor two, and five percent to investor one. Now there are lots of conditions one can add to the convertible loan note. For instance, the loan note may have a valuation cap, meaning that it will convert at a specified maximum valuation. Have a think why an investor may want to include a valuation cap in the convertible loan note. Pause now if you have to. Okay, so imagine if a business scaled really, really fast and it was worth 50 million by 2022 as opposed to 2 million by 2022. The original investor's 100,000 would be worth at a discounted price of 40 pound a share, 2,500 shares, which is essentially less than 1% of the company. Does this compensate the investor for the risk they took at an investing at an early stage? Probably not. So the loan note may specify a max valuation cap of say 5 million pounds. To summarize, Convertible loan notes are very interesting investment instruments and I see them used all the time in my line of work. I've also come across quite complex ones used by PE houses and I hope to do another video on some of those structured deals in the future. Thank you so much for your time. I hope you enjoyed the video. Um, please leave comments below. If you did enjoy it, please smash that like and subscribe button. It really helps. Anyways, take care everyone and I'll see you soon.